Genetic engineering, which is what we're going to be talking about today, is the process in which genetic engineers or scientists can alter the DNA code of living organisms, which is a highly controversial topic in today's society. And we're going to be talking about five different techniques, selective breeding, recombinant DNA, PCR, gel electrophoresis, and transgenic organisms. Selective breeding is in which breeding only happens to plants or animals that have desirable traits, so traits that people think that will thrive and succeed in a certain environment. We have been actually using selective breeding for thousands of years with farm crops and domesticated animals. Recombinant DNA, and the key term to refer to in this word is recombinant, to recombine, is the ability to combine the DNA of one organism with the DNA of another organism. The recombinant DNA technology was first used in the 1970s with bacteria. The benefits of using recombinant bacteria is number one, bacteria can make human insulin or human growth hormone. And number two, bacteria can actually be engineered to eat oil spills. So this would have been very beneficial, especially during the BP oil spill that we recently had along the Gulf Coast. The DNA of plants and animals can also be altered. So for plants, Three things can actually be beneficial. Number one, disease resistant and insect resistant crops can happen because of genetically engineered plants. Number two, they're hardier fruit. And number three, actually 70 to 75 percent of food in the supermarkets are genetically modified plants. So what you're eating right now could possibly be something that has been genetically modified. So after learning some of these facts, what do you think about eating genetically modified foods, or also known as GMOs? So genetically modified organisms are also known as transgenic organisms. So these transgenic animals, they do have some benefits toward to them. So for example, number one, mice, which can be used to study human immune systems. Number two, chickens can actually become developed to be more resistant to infections. Number three, cows can actually increase milk supply and leaner meat. Number four, goats, sheep, and pigs can actually produce more proteins in their milk based off of the benefits of becoming of being a genetically modified organism. So for example, this picture you see is a transgenic goat in which they actually implemented a human DNA into a goat cell. So this goat contains a human gene that codes for a blood clotting agent. The blood clotting agent can be harvested in the goat's milk. Genetic engineering can also help with crime scenes. The polymerase chain reaction is a technique that can actually be used to help solve crime scenes. So it's also known as a PCR, which allows scientists to make many copies of a piece of DNA. And the final process is known as the gel electrophoresis, in which you cut the DNA sample with restriction enzymes, run the DNA fragments through a gel, Bands will actually form in the gel, and everyone's DNA bands are unique and can be used to identify a person, so these bands are actually known as a genetic fingerprint. 